I hate the word sacrifice. People use it all the time. Oh, you know, I said, you don't sacrifice anything. That's a negative void. You invest in yourself. If you're not going to invest in yourself, what are you ever going to invest in? You wake up and our goal is to make that conscious decision, the conscious decision to be great, to live higher than your daily self, to reach your potential. I call it a frequency, right? This authentic thing that we talk about, the organic, authentic self. It's really a higher frequency of your own self and to be comfortable with the fact that you're not a copy, you're not or need you be the same as anyone else and in fact every strength that you have put in a different place is a weakness. For example, I've traveled and, and worked in the sports industry and I'm one of the smaller people in the industry and I was quite... Uh, you know, jealous, to be honest, of, of my partner, who's an Adonis and all these unbelievable athletes until he had to fly across country with me four times a week, right? My strength is a weakness on the football field, but my weakness is an entirely different story when you're a middle seat on Southwest. So we need to make sure that we're starting our day. The first action that we have is to find our highest self, our frequency. So whatever practice that is for you, could be walking your dog, going to exercise, meditate, whatever it is for you, find what makes you feel the best where you find that conscious frequency and you feel I am great. Now, what's the second aspect? You only are allowed one action when you wake up because everything afterwards, physically and metaphysically speaking, is a reaction to that action. And this is where most people fall down on being great. This is where most people fall down on finding what they want, getting what they want, is because they don't know how to react. A lot of people can have the discipline, they can have the habit to create the higher frequency at the beginning of the day, but all they do is roll downhill the rest of the day because they don't react backwards to that higher frequency. How do we, how do, we do that? Well, I think there's three parts to doing that systematically. Number one, with action comes work. So you need to study that calendar, look at it with a lens of productivity and accessibility of how hard or how much investment are you going to make in yourself today. Every single day, that's the next system. Action, reaction, then to hard work. Straight out, old fashioned, what am I willing to do? I hate the word sacrifice. People use it all the time. Oh, you know, I said, you don't sacrifice anything. That's a negative void. You invest in yourself. If you're not going to invest in yourself, what are you ever going to invest in? Think about it. What are you ever going to invest in? So when you sit there and say, this is hard. I can't do it. There's so many things to look at. There's, I can't. No, 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 no. You make the investment in yourself. The hard is what's good. And it doesn't have to be all hard on you. You can learn what was hard on other people. Taking you to the second point, work smart. I'll tell you how to work smart. Delegate and learn from others. Life is about the lessons. The lessons are gonna keep on coming. It's whether you see them as lessons or you see them as failures or mistakes, I don't. I wanna gather as many lessons as I can. Why? Because one thing I know about lessons is sooner or later, one time or another, I'm gonna forget every lesson I learned, but even more powerfully, I can learn and remember even lessons that I haven't learned and remember before. How do we do that? By connecting to others. Instantly, I can learn a lesson by simply connecting to somebody that has had that experience and can talk me through without me paying the dummy tax. So the first step, action, reaction. Second step is to go ahead and work hard. What investment in myself am I gonna make? The second step then is about those lessons to work smart. And then finally, as previously stated in the other video, we have to work long. So there's where your perspective comes in. Working long isn't long hours. It's with a long perspective. You gotta see Maine while you're staying focused on the three feet in front of you. You have to think long. It's amazing how many professional athletes that I work with today as a business coach and a life coach, and they get out of playing sports. Since the time they were five, their biggest concern was, do I have the best coach? If they get drafted to a team, you know, we see it in the NFL, everybody wants to play for Belichick, right? They don't want to play for Gruden, they want to play for Belichick. They want the best coach. Why is it then, when they get out, all of a sudden they feel like they don't need a coach and they're less capable than they were of playing the sport that they're playing since they were five. You need to think long, smart, 
and work hard to invest in yourself to go ahead and accelerate the lessons so that you can perform more productively and be more accessible to others and most importantly access what you want to live a purposeful, passionate and profitable career.